Hello students, how are you? I hope you all are well and safe at your homes. Uh, today in this video, I will share the syllabus of computer and will talk about the marking schemes and the exam procedure. Now, about the syllabus. Students, please have a look here. This is the content of your new book, Computer in Action, Class 3. In this content, you can see there are 8 chapters. In chapter number 1, it is Computer Basics. Chapter number 2, more about keyboard chapter number three understanding windows 10 chapter number four working with microsoft paint chapter number five more about microsoft paint chapter number six let's learn logo chapter number seven maths with logo chapter number eight the last one introduction to microsoft word 2013 now, the syllabus for the midterm. For the midterm examination, students, you have to go for the first four chapters. For the midterm syllabus, for the midterm exam, you have to go for the first four chapters. In our school, there are four exams. First one the pre midterm second one midterm third one post midterm and the last one is final term now the fact is our computer subject the test the exam for our computer subject is taken in the midterm and in the final term only for these two times in the academic year, the computer exams are been taken. Now, in front of you, the first exam of computer, your first exam of computer will be in the midterm. So, the midterm syllabus for computer is the first four chapters of the content. I am reviewing it. For midterm syllabus, the first four chapters will be there. Chapter number one, computer basics. Chapter number two, keyboards. I mean more about. I mean uh, more about keyboards. Chapter number three, understanding Windows 10. And chapter number four, working with Microsoft Paint. These four chapters will be there in your syllabus for midterm. Now, the syllabus for the final term examination. <coughs> you can see here in the content, you must have seen in the content that there were eight chapters. The first four chapters are in midterm and the last four chapters will be there in the final term examination. I am going through the names of the chapter number chapter number 5 more about Microsoft Paint chapter number 5 more about Microsoft Paint chapter number 6 let's learn logo chapter number 7 maths with logo and last chapter number 8 introduction to Microsoft Word 2000 13. These four chapters are going to come in the final term examination. Now, talking about the exam procedure. Children, this must be known to you that last year you have given your computer exam through online. So, this year also you have to do the same. There, this year also 
we will take the computer exam in the same procedure. You have to give the exam through online. The rules are same, the process are same. You have to give your login ID, then password, then go to the exam center. From there you have to give the question set ID and by put, putting the question set ID you can start your exam. The process, the whole process is same and after the school reopens just before the exam we will take a few online tests so that you can get used to the online exam procedure students talking about the marking scheme in your midterm examination the full marks will be 50 and your final term examination the full marks will be 50 now this 50 marks is been divided into two parts number one 40 marks for your online test and the rest of the 10 marks will be given on the basis of your attentiveness in the class on the basis of your classwork on the basis of your classwork copy on the basis of your assignments that will be given to you in the vacations so all these marks will be calculated on the basis of 10 marks so 40 plus 10 it will be 50 40 marks for your online exam 10 marks for your assessment school attentive uh, class attentiveness your assignments your class or copy and your classwork now totaling these two numbers it comes 50 marks so 50 marks is the full marks that will be given on the basis of which your marks will be given in both the exams this marking scheme will be there I am repeating again 40 marks for the online test 10 marks for your internal assessment your assignments your classwork copy your classwork your class attentiveness and total 50 marks so your marks will be calculated on the basis of this 50 marks so students your full marks in the midterm will be 50 and in the final term it will also be 50